two guesses who is back. Hey, everybody, and Ewan welcome McVay. back. Correct. Uh, we have Ewan McVay reappearing. It feels like he wasn't gone that long because I record these all back to back. Student government. I started forgot that we were releasing class, week by week. And I had an idea. I know, I know, I know. What? She's an English major. She hasn't read Macbeth. Time out, internet friends. So this was all during my the butterfly. This was school, all executed online. So if you guys were following along, uh, the Tumblers and the Twitters and stuff, they all informed this offers, moment. If you aren't gonna grade. It was kind of cool. It was like foreshadowing in the greater world. So I never read it in high school, and then I never read it outside of high school. Out of rebellion, what? Oomps, 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 etc. So that was a completely disconnected moment, but we liked it so much that we just <laughs> said whatever. No one will notice. Was because taking the AP lit test without knowing Macbeth was horrible. I That's what they're called, Kate. From my memory until just this very moment. For this book, I'm going to do something different. I was kind of wondering what it would be like to be a character who is maybe not in the foreground. This is again another one that that's really my cadence uh, little I think that Ewan has that very neatly freer Instead, than I think some of the more dramatic episodes really it. get he's not going to win this emergency election there is a character that undoes Macbeth and this feels very similar to her decision to be Dracula which was kind of a cool thing like when we shot that I personally quietly revisited this moment to yes, kind of mirror it like you'll see if you go to that episode maybe I'll, I'll put a little link uh if you go to that episode this the way she says i'm going to be like is similar you but not exactly the, the same so that's an acting thing for you one act of rebellion Erin has proved to be kind of a monster, a power-mad monster, which maybe in retrospect I should have seen coming. And I'd like to tell you the story of you and McVeigh, a day in the life. I play games more like Mansions of Madness and Arkham Horror and things like that. One addition, I only play Leaders of the Venture. Boolean language isn't really commonly used in search engines anymore, especially things like <laughs> I loved our editing in this. Like it was it's the epic struggle of the far just a fun future. way to edit. And this is also very early blog style. Um, you know, without all the B-roll that everybody does now, and yeah, I guess it's kind of dated now, guys. I was king you and old crusher of the Northern Crusaders. I was all powerful. Every maid in the land was in my bag. <laughs> I look so cool. Yeah. And. So Man Chris was so good at staying or, so on book. And actually, I kind of wish he'd torn off a little bit more. <laughs> he he would do it so <laughs> word perfect and then give us a couple, you know, which occurs in the next scene. Duncan things that made it, made it his own, but names Macbeth. he was so respectful of my words. Ah, the sock puppets. Oh, man. And in real life, it went schemed his way up. <laughs> This was tough because I had to like coordinate my hands correctly my with the lines. Irregularly <sighs> contribute fictional stories like. I think this was the end of the day. I was tired, uh, and it was so hot. Oh my god, you guys! This house was like so hot. Dickens. And now he's trying to take over the student council, which sits on the academic ethics advisory board and the campus improvement board, and it has control <laughs> over the housing department, and is also in charge of Alice, making sure that Alice, people who are Alice, what? Alice, okay, Alice. all right, yep. Ewan is one of Duncan's most trusted things, nobles. Uh, and I think that Ewan ripped a page right out of Shakespeare because the former student council president was Ewan's best friend. So Ewan befriended our student body president, old pals, those two. And as the editor in chief of the Ocelot Call, Ewan was in prime position. It's a lot of explanation hidden with sock puppets, which is actually something we took. This is on purpose. We use the sock puppets aggressively here because this is all plot. Uh, we had to make sure that everybody who wasn't online stayed caught up. This didn't just come out of goddamn nowhere for them. Uh, people who were just watching the videos would still be OK. So we hid a lot of exposition with puppets and diagrams and that kind of thing. You'll notice anytime I whip out a so like big a poster board or a diagram or a diorama we're hiding exposition that he is to not cleverly but Yon that's what we're that's what i'm doing who i can talk to to take him down the history majors are you about to say what i think you're about to say 
No, don't do that. Don't compare you into Hitler. All right, no, I wasn't going to do that. Relax, Godwin. I'm just saying that the history majors always can predict the political future. It's kind of a weird, crazy... <laughs> I forgot. Did you know that? No. Those creepy weirdos. Yes. A murder. I was a history major, so this struck me, and this is also when I found out how many of you guys were also history majors because the comments were like, oh my god, I felt that so hard, and I was like, yeah, I know, I'm one of you. We always had a crow, inexplicably, uh, whenever they entered the room or were coming so that, like, it announced their arrival. And we were so lucky. We got Shauna and Caitlin and Yuri to help us out. Uh, Yuri is like an old school, wonderful uh, actor on the web. He also did Binge, which I will link like crazy because I love those guys. And you guys will love Binge. Uh, Shauna, obviously, I'll link her as well. She has a channel here. She's a nice YouTube celebrity. We were able to call on a bunch of YouTube celebrities. She was Tony's friend or is Tony's friend. Um so he brought her on. Thank goodness for that. I mean, they know all of this stuff, and no one ever. His hair looks very tidy. <laughs> it's not usually that tidy. And this is, I think, also the beginning of plaid, though we did do it specifically yeah. for Macbeth because yeah, Scotland. Down? Absolutely. I mean, but I this is a really monster. where it I'm took Victor off. Frankenstein. I have to put that monster out of its misery. Okay, Victor Frankenstein. Do you want help? From you? From me. Cute reference. Can. Cool. The fist. Yeah. <laughs> I kind I should have eaten him. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Remember, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna do the confessional in the same episode. So again, please enjoy it. This excellent screen. I assume I'm not cutting it. Up. I don't know why I would, but. My thesis is about one. George Washington discovering America. Nice to meet you, Columbus a... sailed the ocean blue. Oh. <laughs> we, I think the we storming just... of the Bastille happened. It really did. Them to go nuts. Good for them. Uh, I love some of these comments. Easily one of the most funny, shockingly funny videos in human history. Thanks, you guys, so much for watching. That was a weird way to end it, but I really appreciate you guys being here. Visit katehackett.com slash patronage if you'd like to see more, and I will see everybody else next week. Bye.